Today, I wanna to share with you the best diet to restore your energy and your mitochondrial strength. Last week, I shared 10 tips to improve your mitochondria that go beyond diet. This week, we're gonna focus on diet. Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new Cabral concept. Excited to get into part three of our mitochondrial series on anti-aging, energy, and longevity. If you haven't tuned in for the past couple of weeks, we talked about drugs and medications that can zap your energy. So that might be one of the mysteries, the underlying root causes as to why some people are lower energy. They get even lower energy as they get older. And then last week we spoke about why the mitochondria, believe it or not, are one of the keys to the breakthroughs in anti-aging and longevity. So essentially, they are the batteries inside of your cells. So if we have trillions of cells, well, we need even more batteries to power all of those cells. But as we get older, inflammation and heavy metals, toxins from the environment, and much more can actually degrade the function of our batteries, our mitochondria. And also, it can lead then to what I, I always refer to as the vicious cycle, which leads to then more inflammation and more aging. Because the weaker your mitochondria get, the less they're able to help buffer inflammation and energy. So then more inflammation takes place, inflammation that leads to aging, the mitochondria become weaker and the cycle repeats. The nice thing is there is always a way to reverse it. There's always a way out. We're going to share with you the best diet this week. Last week, I shared 10 tips to improve your mitochondria that go beyond diet. This week, we're going to focus on diet. So I have a study for you. This is specifically related to the mitochondria. Let me get you the name of it. Dietary Mitophagy Enhancer. I'll talk about what that is in just a second. And then a strategy for a healthy brain as well. Okay, so I'm going to link this up today at stephencabral.com slash 2972 is today's show. All right, so here we go. This is, as I just named the study, looking at a particular study or a particular diet that has been shown to induce what's called mitophagy. Mitophagy basically means killing off the weaker cells, the weaker mito mitochondria, in order to allow for better, stronger energy producers, batteries in the cell, those mitochondria. All right, so here it goes. We're going to kick right off into it. The, or recently, nutritional interventions have received attention as promising approaches to promote human health during a lifespan. The Mediterranean and Okinawan diets have been associated with longevity and decreasing risk for age-related disease in contrast to the Western diet. The effect might be due to several antioxidative, bioactive compounds highly consumed in both diets, namely resveratrol, hydroxy, tyrosol, uh, aluropine, curcumin, and spermidine, or sometimes pronounced spermidine. This review aims to address the underlying mechanisms to enhance mental fitness through life with a focus on brain mitophagy. Mitophagy is the autophagic clearance of dysfunctional, redundant, and aged mitochondria. In aging and neurodegenerative disorders, mito mito uh, mitophagy is crucial to preserve the autophagy mechanism of the whole cell, especially during oxidative stress. Growing evidence indicates that curcumin, astaxanthin, resveratrol, hydroxytyrosol, aluropine, and spermidine might exert protective functions via antioxidant properties and as well as the enhanced induction of mitophagy mediators. The compounds seem to upregulate mitophagy and thereby alleviate the clearance of dysfunctional and aged mitochondria, as well as mitogenesis. Thus, the Mediterranean or Okinawan diet could represent a feasible nutritional approach to reduce the risk of developing age-related cognitive impairment and corresponding disorders via the stimulation of mitophagy and thereby ensure a balanced redox state of brain cells. Okay, what does all of that mean? All right, so all of this means this, that there are certain compounds in the foods of the Mediterranean and Okinawan diet that contain curcumin, astaxanthin, resveratrol, hydroxytyrosol, aluropine, which I'll explain what those are, and spermidine. Okay, so I teach about all these different nutrients inside of high performance health. Anybody who wants to really take a deep dive, learn how to extend their lifespan by 20 years or more le with legitimate science, not talking about living to 150 or forever, talking about living 100 plus, 100 plus years, like no doubt about it. So I give you all the testing, all the compounds, everything legitimate, backed by science, 
uh, in-depth diet, etc. at highperformancehealth.org. But right now, I want to give you exactly why these diets <coughs> improve your mitochondria, not just in your brain, but the entire body. So the Mediterranean diet, well, let's go over what is the Mediterranean diet and essentially for the most part, what is the Okinawan diet? Because they're very similar meaning like the types of foods and the amount of veggies they contain, just different types based on where they are in the world, one more in Europe and obviously one more in Asia. So if I take you through an average Mediterranean diet and the best foods, call it what you will, to support your mitochondria, here's what it's going to look like. Brightly colored fruits and vegetables, not a ton of fruit, one, maybe two cups per day, typically berries, so lower glycemic, thicker skin like on wild blueberries or raspberries or blackberries or cherries or any of those. Apples can still be great. Things of that nature, very bright, typically a skin on them which contains the antioxidant. So although I have nothing against bananas, you're not getting as much of that antioxidant punch as you would with something like blueberries, cranberries, blackberries, raspberries, cherries, etc. Okay. So now, okay, a couple cups of fruit a day, but you're also getting what? Lots of colorful vegetables. That's essentially what the real Mediterranean diet, big benefits in the Okinawan diet are about. They are 30 plus grams of fiber per day with seven to nine servings of fruits and veggies every day with the majority of them vegetables. Okay, that's a big one. Next, herbs, many of them dried, some of them fresh. What would some of those be? Thyme, oregano, cilantro, uh, parsley, ginger, all of these are phenomenal herbs because they also contain antioxidants. We talked about this thing inside of that study called oxidative stress or redox. Redox, and again, I, I go in depth in high performance health, but it's uh, reduction oxidation. So basically, as we get older, we can control the free radical damage inside of our body as well. Part of that is the weakened mitochondria. So we create what? More tissue destruction. Faster aging, what does it look like? More fine lines and wrinkles on the skin. Thinner skin, hair starts to get weaker. Hair starts to fall out. Nails don't grow as fast. They're not as thick, they're not as strong. Poor recovery from exercise. We start to lose muscle, we start to lose bone. All of this is a byproduct of oxidative stress as well. Not just, it's not just mental stress, it's actually stress inside of the body. And so what happens is when we take in the fruits and vegetables, the herbs and the spices, they provide antioxidants that help with that oxidative process. And then what do they do? Well, then they help to restore the mitochondria. There's one more that um, they talked about inside, or two more, that they talked about inside of that study. And I'm going to name those two for you because you may not have heard about them before, but you will once I name them specifically. Hydroxy, tyros tyrosol, and eluropene. Both of those come from olive oil. They're tremendous for blood pressure, cardiovascular, blood sugar, and inflammation. So again, I can't provide any medical advice, medical treatment plans, medical cures, medical diagnosis, but what I want to share with you, olive oil is a true superfood. I've been talking about olive oil for many, many years because as long as you get a good quality one, you're probably going to be adding some healthy fat to your dinner anyways or your lunch. Great way to get that. So that's another powerful antioxidant in there. Now there's one more that doesn't fall into the fruits, vegetables, spices, and herbs or all of this as part of that, right? It is astaxanthin. Astaxanthin, the only real way to get it is from brightly colored fish. And that bright color is that red orange color that may come from shrimp or krill or uh, wild salmon, wild trout, etc. That bright orangey red color, not the dye they put on the farm salmon. I don't know if you know that, but they literally dye farm salmon. They put in an orange color in order to make it look like real salmon. It's deplorable because farm salmon is a much grayer color and lighter orange. It's nowhere. You can see the two next to each other in, an, in a um, even though it's dyed in like a Whole Foods or a place like that, you'll be able to see the difference. I put photos all the time on my Instagram if I'm going to get salmon and I show the farm salmon next to it that doesn't have that bright red color. Well, that bright red is the astaxanthin. 
Really powerful, they've shown now, as an antioxidant for anti-aging. Okay, now, besides, that's layer one, right, of the, of the Okinawan and Mediterranean diet. So I know when people think about the Mediterranean diet, they're like, oh, it's so high in bread and pasta. No, that's not the, <laughs> there could be some bread and pasta, but that's not the benefits of the Mediterranean diet, okay? Not, not by a long shot. Um, so the Mediterranean diet, though, an Okinawan diet still does contain protein. And you need protein for a healthy and strong body. It's just, and you'll see this, and I don't want to, maybe I'll do a podcast on it. I don't know yet. But so many people now have started to come back to a state of normalcy. No more skipping breakfast and ridiculously long intermittent fasts. No more uh, keto diet. No more carnivore diet. What are they talking about? More, they're more preaching a balanced diet, which, again, isn't the... Um, you know, sexiest thing, the most exciting thing. I get it, but it's what we've been talking about in our community since the beginning, because it is the truth. And you can go low carb for a period of time, but that's not a forever diet, right? That's not the plan. But protein, people have gone, oh, now you need like one and a half grams per pound of body weight. You need like, no, it's you need enough protein to satisfy your lifestyle, your activity level, your level of weightlifting, et cetera. Well, I, that's why I never want to downplay it, but I always have to bring things back into to context from the, the outrageousness sometimes of, um, obviously, that gets the most media, right? That gets the most hits. You say outrageous things, um, you state a study behind it, and, and there you have it. But anyway, in the end, it always comes back to, now, balance doesn't mean everything's exactly the same. It just means that the body is in balance when you eat the proper amount of each one. So um, some of these are going to be uh, your grass-fed, grass-finished meats, your pastured chicken, pastured eggs. They will be your wild-caught fish, no doubt about those. Those are cornerstones. Um, but they are also involve every single one, Mediterranean, as well as the Okinawan uh, diet, include some type of beans and legumes. So they're not eating meat all day long. One of those meals is going to be beans or legumes. And it's typically a half a cup to one cup a day. The nice thing is you can really vary or choose whatever kind you like. And it's phenomenal not only for the colon, the digestive tract, but powerful anti-cancer, fiber for cardiovascular, blood pressure, uh, type two diabetes, and much more. Okay, next up is nuts and seeds. So although I'm not the biggest believer that you need to include nuts and seeds in your diet, I do believe that they are healthy and a healthy diet can include one to three tablespoons a day of these nuts and seeds. So I don't think it's imperative, but I do think things like chia seeds, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, others can be really helpful. I don't like them as seed oils. They're okay as seed or nut butters, better when they're raw or the ones that need to be cooked are lightly roasted. Okay, now I could go into more and more here, but really what I wanna share with you, the last part, is the healthy fats. You're gonna get pretty much all of the fat that you need in your diet from the nuts and seeds, from the meat, the eggs, the fish, without having to add a lot more. The only other fat that you really need to be thinking about adding to your diet would be maybe a little grass-fed uh, butter or ghee, some olive oil, which I absolutely do recommend, or some avocado. All of the rest are really extraneous. You know, cooking everything in massive amounts of lard or tallow, unnecessary. It's unnecessary, and, and I don't think that you're going to get a whole lot of benefit from that. I don't, I don't, you, they're certainly not going to get more benefit than olive oil or avocado. Like, without a doubt, you're not. Um, it doesn't show that for gut health. It doesn't show that for the immune system. It doesn't show that for inflammation or oxidative stress. It doesn't show it for the brain. So where people are, I mean, the thing is people just enjoy it. They enjoy the taste of it, so they try to justify it. I can't justify that. I, I can't say that to you in, in all uh, ethics at all. So what I recommend, plain and simple, is that your fats are olive oil or avocado. And then the saturated fat that you get will be from some of the meats and the eggs, uh, et cetera, the chicken, all right? So it's an easy way to look at it. And then of course the nuts and seeds as well. And that will help you to balance overall fats. The other part I would say is this, is that if you are not someone that's eating fish three to four plus times a week, 
you're most likely going to need to use an omega-3 supplement. You really are. You can use any of your favorite companies. The one that I use every day is called Daily Omega-3 Support by Equalife because it's a two and a half to one ratio of EPA to DHA, which helps to balance then any of the nuts and seeds in the diet, uh, some of the meats, the eggs, the fish that might not have the same ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s, and that helps with the inflammation. We've seen that now in our practice since about 2010. We have tens of thousands upon thousands of lab tests that back this up with the data. And we can just share with you that is and has been shown over and over now to help with all of the major causes of mortality. So I want to keep it at that for today. That is exactly the diet that is recommended to improve your mitochondria through mitophagy. And it is still the most well-researched in terms of human lifespan and longevity, plus it is very well balanced. You have protein, you have carbs. We didn't talk about some of the starches, but those starches could come from some whole grains. They can also come from sweet potatoes or yams or Japanese yams or purple potatoes, which I love. So all of those can be included as well. If you're someone that loses weight more easily, you'll add a little bit more starch. If you're someone that has difficulty losing a little bit more weight, well, you'll probably eat more of the veggies, a little bit of fruit, et cetera. So all of these things I've talked about before on the Cabral concept, I would love you to head on over to stephencabral.com slash podcast. Feel free to choose any of the categories from those images at the top. Do a deep dive into each one. Spend some time really learning about this topic inside and out. And of course, if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them for you. Leave them in the comments below or ask them at stephencabral.com slash askcabral. Take care, everybody. Appreciate you being a part of this community. I'll talk with you soon. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.